Welcome to Ward Coast Studios Showcase, featuring indie musicians, presented by WardCoStudios.com. Welcome to Ward Coast Studios Showcase. Yay! And welcome to all our listeners out there in internet land. Super yay! I'm Ward Kelly. Yay! And we showcase uh, each time three indie bands. And I am sitting here with my co-host, the irrepressible Jeff Stafford. <laughs> Another word I gotta look up. Jeff irrepressibly fronts the wow. uh, Entrance Way band, Hoorah. a progressive rock band, and uh, just finished up a new song today. Actually, yep, we did. And he takes his uh, irrepressibleness <laughs> a step further by uh, fronting the Jeff Stafford and the SBC band. Yay! A honky tonk group of uh, country criminals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly what we are. All, all honky tonk, all outlaw, and uh, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so Jeff, uh, today we have uh, three bands. We're going to start with uh, Clay Souls. We're going to move on to the Barefoot Hollers. You got to love that. Uh, I love that name. <laughs> and with the SBC criminals, yeah. and we're going to end with uh, Joseph Todd. All right, sounds so, uh, exciting. All great songs. Sounds really exciting. I can't wait. We've we've been blessed with so many great submissions. It's great music. We're going to get to everybody as soon as we can. Uh, keep them coming. You guys uh, rock my world with all this music. It's outstanding. Thank you guys. And Jeff, do you realize this is uh, podcast number four? Wow, that's awesome. We're up to number four. Nobody has. Uh, uh, chased us around the block with sticks or anything. No FCC banging at the door or anything? Nope, but uh, we did learn that we were uh, picked up by uh, KQBM out in um, California. Uh, right on. A radio station out in Cali's pick up the podcast. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. Uh, we Big, big, big thanks. Uh, Mr. Fox, is it? It's James Fox. James Fox. Yeah, he has this a show. This is part too. of their internet streaming thing that, the they got that going. they're doing right outstanding that's exciting i'm really excited out there in california land hey all my california folk listen up <laughs> but before we start the songs we're going to do the uh, the feature that we started on the last uh, podcast where i'm reading certain emails that came in okay okay so, so are you ready for this i, I hope so i remember the last one a little... uh, they have not improved much <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, um, you know, it takes a certain amount of courage to read these on my part, and particularly uh, to uh, give out my email address. Right, yeah. <laughs> which is uh, ward708 at aol.com. There you go, ward708 at aol.com. Now, were, were you, uh, did you want to say something about AOL? I do, I do. <laughs> I, I and, and I got to tell you, you know, I'm the less technically advanced some guy around, but even I got Yahoo Mail, you know, <laughs> not, maybe not Hotmail or something, but I got Yahoo Mail. So I know you're making fun of my email address, but yeah. <laughs> but here's here's the way it is. I signed up right at the beginning, like 30 years ago. Right. And right. Uh, for me to change it now to go to a, uh, a niftier type of uh, email, like you have. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'd have to, uh, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of people, I'd have to send those little, please change your email over to us. Right, right, yeah. That's okay. I, li- I like the fact when I come over, I get to hear, you've got mail. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, like I say, it takes a certain amount of courage, but I'm going to read these. And uh, always remember, uh, God hates a coward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Just ask Doc Holliday. There you go. I learned that here in Indiana. Okay, here, here's the first one. All right. Dearest Jeff, Uh-oh. it starts out almost. Uh-oh. Jeff, close your ears, as I don't want to offend your refined sensibilities. Oh my goodness! So you have uh, refined sensibilities. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the only thing I find. I'm responding to my last email, the Uh-oh. one Ward read on the last podcast. Uh-oh. Where does he get off calling me alliterative? <laughs> and, and what does that even mean? <laughs> Did he mean to call me illiterate? So, uh, 
I want to quickly say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's clearly not illiterate. But uh, alliteration is a uh, is using similar first syllable sounds. That's a literary device. So, for instance, in her last email, she called me pompous, pedantic, and I pontificate. Yeah, I remember that. Remember right. that, which yeah. is all true. But uh, those words all begin with a P sound, so that's why I, I called her alliterative, <laughs> but not illiterate. Right. right. Anyway, um, it goes on. I still say you should dump Ward. <laughs> I can't dump Ward. He's, 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 he's the man. It's, it's his show. Well, that, that's what you said last time. She said, you said you can't fire the boss. Right. But haven't you ever heard of an employee takeover? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you're the greatest. Signed, R. Who's this R person? R. R. What's your very last name? Well, that would be Risa, but she would never, ever, ever. You don't think she would, do you? Wow. Okay, well. I don't want to get into that, so moving quickly to the uh, <laughs> okay, okay, the second and final email. All right. Uh, no, this is this starts even worse. To the sexy Jeff Stafford. Uh oh. I'll just come right out and say it. I've decided to stalk you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. I saw you perform in Brownsburg. You are a living Elvis. <laughs> or at oh, least, my, I can't believe it. Or at least a George Strait. Ah, uh, King George. Ward's right. You do look a little bit like Mark Hammond. <laughs> Uh-oh. I love your navy blue Jeep, by the way. She is talking to me. This, she is, is, she knows, this is starting to be scary. She, she knows you're right. Yeah. Oh, no. Can I have a lock of your hair? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Now get this. From anywhere will do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she probably means you're like a beard. My beard. Dog. <laughs> yeah, that's what she means, right? Yeah. Signed, the dog catcher. <laughs> No, I'll leave it to you to explain to the audience where she got the dog catcher. The dog catcher. Um, well, first of all, let me say, dog catcher, thank you very much for your email. Um, I recommend not stalking people. Um, people sometimes get crazy about that, so just be aware. Um, I guess I got to go trade in my Jeep now. And uh, and uh, But the dog catcher, I am the dog. I'm dog. I am dog. And... Uh, D-A-W-G. D-A-W, Motor Scooter G. That's right. And uh, it was well earned back in my wild and woolly days. And uh, and but uh, dog catcher, that's scary. No, you can't catch me. There's no collar going around my neck. There's no dog tags here. <laughs> well, I wish we had more emails. This is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I guess we should get to the... Uh, we have a show we got to get to, right? We have a show. Okay, first up is a uh, group by the name of uh, Clay Souls. Clay Souls, okay. And uh, they are doing a tune called uh, Love is the Naming. Love is the Naming. And I should disclose, this is uh, one of the Ward Code groups. Yes, it is. I always like to start these with one of the Ward Code groups. So without further ado, here we go. Let's give it a listen. work with sounds of integrity hearts and sambers and two hearts of crystal an alchemist Seeking chemistry An arrow through the wind mm, A 
of eternity Tendons of the soul Carnal rubber bands Of exotic pulses Love holds the seed Of the eternal Always go with grace mm, Avoid impulses Love is the naming of the harness All the parts of the harness Seems an unbearable task but Recognition is the first task See the unlimited, the farness And make perfect, mm, the first to last Love is how we all, each of us, every single soul, and all parts of a soul come to be matched with all parts of the harness which we hold clenched for every day, every part of the day, every part of the soul. Love is mm, every part of the day. Love is. Every part of your being Love is every part of your soul Love is the naming of the harness And all the parts of the harness Seems an unbearable task But recognition is the first task See the unlimited, the farness Make perfect mm, from first to last Love is how we all, each of us, every single soul, all parts of the soul, come to be matched with all parts of the harness, which we hope to clinch every day, every part of the day, every part of the soul. Love is every part of the day, love is Every part of your being Love is mm, Every part of your soul yeah. Love is Every part of your day Love is Every part of your being mm, 
love is Everybody is so Love is Love is the name Love is Love is the name Okay, that was Love is the Naming by Clay Souls. Yay, outstanding job, guys. And uh, the guys in the band are uh, Jack Gibson, vocals and guitar. Jeremy Bates did uh, lead guitar on that one. Jay Carpenter, bass and vocals. Dave Mahurin, drums. Jeff Hudson did a little bit of the organ you heard in there. And Alex Puga did the harp. Alex Puga. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, Jeff, what would you think of that? Man, what a great song. Really, really pretty song. I really like that. It has a it has an acoustic lead, which anybody knows me, I love acoustics. Um, and a lot of influence. You hear a lot of, a lot of influences from different places, all the way from uh, the rock ballads of the 80s, like uh, Poison and such, to, uh, to uh, that... that um, what are their names? Uh, not Molly Hatcher, but uh, Marshall Tucker sound in there. Um, and so it's just a really good song. Um, great job, guys. Um, you know, anytime I hear great music like this, I just I want to go play with them. You know, and uh, and uh, so great song. Keep it up. Keep keep recording. Keep going. Okay. Well, I like that song a lot. Uh, the only thing I'm going to say about that song is. Um, as we were recording that, Jack got the idea to use a shaker during the last uh, course or so. Right. So we were recording the shaker, and it dawned on me, I missed my big chance to finally be one of the musicians. So to be a musician. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been the shaker. Egg shaker, man. Yeah, we get you some, some, some rockers, man, and stuff. We get you, we get you trained up time. Hey, we can get you a triangle, too. Well, I could probably do that, right? Although, I, I don't know. I tried to do a uh, tambourine with Don Whitaker one time. Yeah. And he, uh, when we were practicing, he walked over and said, give me that tambourine. <laughs> You know what? Believe it or not, tambourines are hard. A lot of people don't realize it, but tambourines actually, if you don't know how to play them, they're really hard to play. That's a funny thing. You wouldn't think so, but it's true. I can't sing and play a tambourine at the same time. Okay, well, we're ready to uh, move into our next uh, indie song. Yay! So we'll go hear these next guys, and uh, we'll go into the music. Yeah, the next guys, these are uh, the, the name of this group. The, uh-oh. What the heck? Day, Phone call. Every oh, you think I got to take it? Well, they're calling. You better take it. Love huh? is. Mm. Hello, this is Ward. Every day. Hello, Ward. Love Ward is. Kelly. Yes. Every part of your Ward Kelly, hey, I want to thank you for taking my call. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah C. Grubbs, and I'm a longtime listener and a uh, first-time caller. And I just want to say thank you for putting on such a great show and getting these fine artists out there for people to hear. And, uh, and you do such a great job, Ward. Uh, I don't know who this Jeff Stabber guy is. You might want to get a background check on him or something. Uh, and get that figured out. And uh, anyway, I'll hang up now and listen to your comments. And thank you all very much. Uh, be- before you go, Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, sir. Uh, I'm so happy this is the first positive comment in all these podcasts that anyone's made about me. <laughs> oh, well, well, that's quite right. I think you're quite a star. I, uh. I, I hope I hope to hear one of your albums soon and uh, and, uh, and and more really. In, in my album where I'm doing the shaker. Right, right, right. You play the shaker too. I, I do. I do it all. Oh, I play the shaker. I play a mean shaker, man. In fact, 
I'm really good at Air Shaker. Uh, and then they got this contest, and I signed up every. I haven't won it yet, but, 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 but I'm, I'm working real hard on it. So, uh, but anyway, I'll hang up now and listen to your comments. And thank you very much, Ward. Keep it up. Okay, thanks, Jeremiah. And uh, the check is in the mail. <laughs> what is that? What 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 was that, it was Jeremiah? Jer- Jeremiah, he, he's really fun to you, isn't he? You know, it's, it's amazing what money can do. <laughs> <laughs> Have somebody say some nice things. <laughs> That's incredible, man. Oh, Jeremiah. Hey, I heard what you said about me, buddy. Uh, um, hey, Aug says you're welcome coming to my show. Check me out for real. Uh, I hope I hope, I hope it changed your mind. Uh, thanks for calling Jeremiah C. Grubs. Yeah, Grubs, was it? Yeah. Maybe that stalker gal can uh, give him a ride for your next show. That's kind of scary. But yeah. <laughs> no, you're not thinking straight about that. You can then deflect her to Jeremiah. Ooh, that's a great idea. That's right, right. <laughs> okay, anyway, I love the name of this, this next group. You're going to love it. I you know your honky tonk ways. They're called the, uh, the Barefoot Hollers. Man, what a great name, isn't it? And uh, let me uh, let me read what they uh, wrote into us. Okay. Uh, the Barefoot Hollers are from Indianapolis, Indiana. Big nap town, love Indianapolis. town. We like to write songs mixing different styles of music, folk, rock, blues, and country. Well, that's my kind of folk right there. So that was a little brief. So I went on their website and. Uh, see what else they had to say about themselves and I encourage everybody it's a great website to go to uh, www.thebarefootcollars.com and uh, there they said we are an acoustic band of musical outlaws hailing from Indianapolis who specialize in roots rock country funk and indie folk what a record it's, it's, it's awesome. That's that's Naptown music, baby. Our core members, which there are two, uh, reunited after years apart and are now feverishly reunited and it feels so good. Sorry, I just had to you get your annoyed by them from here. <laughs> so they're now working feverishly on new material and playing shows around the Midwest. And they got a, a gang of shows coming up. Awesome. So without further ado, uh, it's the Barefoot Hollers and their song, Hit and Run. Hit and Run. Give us something to holler about, boys. Early in the morning, walking down the street. Pay an old mind and a shuffle in a field. A song called Pecan Through the Tree. Just singing along with the chickadee.
Okay, that was that was awesome. That's that was what that awesome. was. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was hit and run by the Barefoot Hollers. So, what else did you think about that tune? Wow, Ward, that's what a great song. You know, um, it has uh, so many parts of, like they said, they mix all kinds of genres in there. It's really incredible. I really like the acoustic uh, roots side of it a lot. I like the fact that it has that basic rock rock drive in it, and then. Um, and there was something else that I liked, it, and I can't picture it now. I said it a minute ago, and I, oh, how much they remind me of, like I said, the old music plus like Alabama. I think they 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 should be the opening act for Alabama Shake somewhere, and uh, just go on tour with them because it really hits that genre and and adds the rock and roll aspect of like hand driving things to it. So it's a great song, guys. Um, I, I if you're out there in this internet land, you guys go see these folks and hit one hit their shows. They're touring all over the Midwest. They're, what a great 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 song. Yeah, boy, I sure agree. What a foot tapper. I really enjoyed that one. And, uh, you know, I can see why they have so many bookings. And that was, uh, I'll get to the bookings in a minute. That was uh, Michael Mustin on uh, guitar and vocals and Kevin Todd on mando and vocals mandolin mandolino mm -hmm. i got a mando in there and it has so many great other sounds in there too so so whoever if you guys are doing it all or you've got some uh studio artists to step sit in with you or whatever man it's great sound all the way around so the like i said they're uh they're booking all over the the midwest i can see why they have so many bookings uh, but just a couple uh they'll be in indianapolis on june 3rd at the 5547 Art Gallery. Okay, awesome, awesome, good, doing an art gallery. And Indy again, June 23rd, at the Metazoa Brewery. Metazoa Brewery, okay, and around. A, a dinosaur sound to it. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah, it does. And beer's been around forever, like since the dinosaurs probably, and uh, so go, guys, folks, definitely go out there, get yourself a growler, or a big old mug of beer, and see these guys, they are, they are a great sound. So, uh, again, go to www.thebarefoothollers.com and slash shows if you want to see where they're playing. Uh, they're also on Facebook. Uh, and search on the Barefoot Hollers. And same on SoundCloud. Search on the Barefoot Hollers. Absolutely. I'm going to go search for them. I like your sound. I'm a, that, that roots and music's me all day long. Oh, good. What a beat. And speaking of beats. Yeah? Beats? Beats. I was uh, talking to your drummer the other day. Nick. Nick. Nick Watson. Nick Watson. Yep. Very smart man. And uh, we were bemoaning the fact that we're getting older. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop it, it seems. And Nick's talking about that, you know, I'm doing four hour shows. I'm sitting on that. The I'm, throne. His throne. I'm sitting on that little throne. And I'm sitting there, and I'm flailing appendages. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that was such a neat turn of phrase. A description, yeah, I'm flailing appendages. That's, that's, it's correct. Don't know how to spell it, but it's correct, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That's interesting. Nick, Nick's incredible. You know, he stepped up with these songs we've been doing, and uh, he just sits right in and throws down a beat. It's like, wow, have you been listening to it for like three months? And you know, he just heard it. He's really incredible. He is. Okay, you know, plus a um, few little vocabulary lessons during this, right. in this podcast. That, that's good. We need those, <laughs> evidently. My lack of a... I thought I had a rather extensive vocabulary until I met you, Ward. <laughs> well, Nick says he's going to work with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Two, two smart guys helping me out and helping the high school dropout. Uh, there out. we go. That's good. Okay. Let's go. Hey, we got more artists, right? We do. We got another great one coming up. Uh, you ready for this? I am. Who's our next artist? So, so yeah, we get, we got these ne next artists coming up, and and who, who is? Uh, uh, yeah, I was just I'm afraid to answer this one. I'm really scared too. This is scary. I don't know why, why am I afraid? It turned out hey, pretty hey, good last time. Hey, week. God don't like cowards. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's see who it is. Hello, yeah. this is Ward. He Ward, man. Ward Kelly. Is this the famous Ward Kelly, man? No, the no. poet. Is this the poet Ward Kelly. No, no. That's all I got to say. Yeah, who's this? Hey, man, this is Bob Dylan, man. <laughs> Just want to call and say I really like poetry, you know, and, uh, and I really like your poetry, man. You're putting it to music. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm hanging up now, Bob. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bye. Click.
Okay. Getting... Wow, you got a call from Bob Dylan, oh, yeah. man. I'm sure I did. Wow, that's pretty cool. He likes what he's doing with your poems. That's cool. And they sound an awful lot like Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So back to where we were. We got some more artists to check out, right? We have our third and final artist. This is a solo artist. Okay. His name is Joseph Todd. Joseph Todd. And you're going to like this guy. Um, and he writes in to say, I am an R&B entertainer and single artist, guitarist, vocalist, and recording artist who's serious about original songs, I believe, will have people up and dancing. Right on. Within the first few notes as a Motown notes. Wow. I have played dragging, with, He says, I have played with some of the most well-known groups in the business. Awesome. Although I am currently with the band, I am the only one with the belief that there's always an opportunity to make waves. <laughs> I, I, can, I can get where you're coming from there, Mr. Todd. You know, as a, as a driving force of the SBC band for many, many years, I get that. Absolutely. And Joseph Todd is from Portage, Indiana. Portage, I think that's way up north. I think so. And he says, this is my second song, and it's called I Just Come to Party. <laughs> my kind of guy. All right. And it's uh, one of many from his upcoming album called Kicking It. With great name, Kicking It. Right okay, so here we go. Joseph Todd, I Just Come to Party. Let's give it a list. I Just Come. Oh, wow, 
Left and talk, oh wow, lost time, oh wow. Grab some drinks, she smiled. Then I looked to her eyes as I grabbed her hand. Then we moved real close, and I said, Thought I just came to party. I just come. Thought I just came to party. I just come. And I just came to party. I just come, thought I just came to party, I just come, I just come, I just come. Okay, that was that was Joseph Todd. I just come to party. It certainly seems like it. And you know, Joseph does everything on that. He's a one man band. He did all everything on that. That's awesome. There's mm-hmm. some great harmonies in there and some great sounds for sure. So, what all did you think of that one, Joe? Well, great, great question. Hey, Joseph Todd, great song, man. I can't tell you. Wow, um, you know, you said R and B and you talk of Motown and. And so, you know, I'm ready for my girl or something. You hit me with some Latin hip-hop stuff and uh, really switched it up on me. It was really great. Um, I, I dig the Latin beat. I, uh, I, had, I had this need to want to get up and start dancing, you know, but I uh, didn't want to move the mic stand. <laughs> That's usually my partner when I'm doing the shows is my mic stand. But uh, I thought it was a great song, great sound. Um, uh, what, what, what else can I say? The harmonies, I like how he comes into it. And... And you definitely know what he's about when he sings it. You know, there's no doubt he come to party. I sure agree with you, Jeff. Um, I'm a sucker for R&B and uh, such smooth vocals from Joseph. Definitely. Yeah, I really like the kind of reggae island sound he had going on some of his vocals. Well, shoot, you just uh, preempted me. Because I was about to say, I hear reggae, R&B, Motown. It's, it's all a, in there, ain't it? It is. It's a whale of a tune. And I think uh, Joseph is going to have a lot of success as a musician. I think so too. I think all these guys, we've been really blessed to have such great musicians uh, give us some stuff to, to send out to the world. And Joseph, you're just a, you're a big part of that. And thanks for sending your submission. And uh, Joseph is uh, just getting started with his uh, social media. Okay. However, he can be found on uh, Fan Vista. You go to uh, Joseph one two zero one three zero zero dot bandvista.com you'll probably need to report can you can we repeat that one more time we can repeat that get your pens and papers ready gentlemen Uh, ladies joseph one two zero one three zero zero dot bandvista.com wow uh, to find out some information about uh joseph todd Joseph Todd, absolutely, Joseph. I, I look forward to going there and uh, find out more about you. I really dig your sound, man. Okay, well, Jeff, I'm sorry to report this, but uh, we are at the end. Oh, no, we podcast. haven't had any room for our sponsors or anything. <laughs> yes, they're just lining up at the door. They are. That's probably what uh, Bob Dylan wanted to do, is uh, sponsor us. I bet it was, and you hung up on him. I know, I did. <laughs> I lost my mind. <laughs> Okay, so I uh, guess it's just about uh, ready to sign off. Would you like to uh, say a few things on the way out? Uh, you know, uh, just uh, once again, Ward, thank you so much for having me here uh, as part of this podcast. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Kim, uh, thank you for helping us put all this on so much, Miss Kim Hargis. And uh, and um, i just uh, so pleased to be here. And thank you all for having us in your, in your ears, man, wherever you are out there. And uh, thank you all very much. And, Spread the word for us, man. We, we want to get all, all the artists out there to everybody. Get this music out there. It needs to be signed up. and People need to be hearing it. I sure agree. And uh, um, I want to thank all of our listeners out there in Internet land. Uh, it's yeah. a lot of fun doing this. And, uh, you know, I always like to end philosophically. You do. But uh, I'll give you a shot. Now, you were deeply, profoundly philosophical last time. I don't even remember what I said. It's scary.
Wherever you go, there oh, you are. There you are. <laughs> yeah, right. Wherever you go, there you are. That's right. Absolutely. Okay, I, 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 I'll, I'll leave you with this last bit of tidbit, okay? And this is um, an appeal to a certain company, I guess, that they could be our sponsor maybe. But uh, gentlemen, a little public service announcement for you out there. If I could have your attention. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. If you feed her Jaeger, you don't have to beg her. Now back to your regular <laughs> scheduled program. <laughs> Okay, so uh, my philosophical ending is music is life. That's why hearts have beats. Absolutely. There you Absolutely go. true that, man. Okay, till next time. Bye, everybody. Till next time, keep up with the music at wardkellyartist.com. Read lyrics and find Ward's books at wardkelly.org. Listen to podcasts at wardco.com studios.com